major landforms of the earth. You will notice that the surface of the earth is not the same everywhere. The earth has an infinite variety of landforms. Some parts of the lithosphere may be rugged and some flat. These landforms are a result of two processes. You will be amazed to know that the ground you are standing on is slowly moving. Within the earth, a continuous movement is taking place. The first or the internal process leads to the upliftment and sinking of the earth's surface at various places. The second or the external process is the continuous wearing down and rebuilding of the land surface. The wearing away of the earth's surface is called erosion. The surface is being lowered by the process of erosion and rebuilt by the process of deposition. These two processes are carried out by running water, ice and wind. Broadly, we can group different landforms depending on elevation and slope as mountains, plateaus and plains. Mountains a mountain is any natural elevation of the earth's surface. The mountains may have a small summit and a broad base. It is considerably higher than the surrounding area. Some mountains are even higher than the clouds. As you go higher, the climate becomes colder. In some mountains, there are permanently frozen rivers of ice. They are called glaciers. There are some mountains you cannot see as they are under the sea. Because of harsh climate, less people live in the mountain areas. Since the slopes are steep, less land is available for farming. Mountains may be arranged in a line known as range. Many mountain systems consist of a series of parallel ranges extending over hundreds of kilometers. The Himalayas, the Alps and the Andes are mountain ranges of Asia. Europe and South America respectively. Mountains vary in their heights and shape. There are three types of mountains, namely fold mountains, block mountains and the volcanic mountains. The Himalayan mountains and the Alps are young fold mountains with rugged relief and high conical peaks. The Aravalli range in India is one of the oldest fold mountain systems in the world. The range has considerably worn down due to the processes of erosion. The Appalachians in North America and the Ural Mountains in Russia have rounded features and low elevation. They are very old fold mountains. Block mountains are created when large areas are broken and displaced vertically. The uplifted blocks are termed as horse and the lowered blocks are called graven. The Rhine Valley and the Vosges Mountain in Europe are examples of such mountain systems. Locate them on the world map in the Atlas. Volcanic mountains are formed due to volcanic activity. Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa and Mount Fujiyama in Japan are examples of such mountains. Mountains are very useful. The mountains are a storehouse of water. Many rivers have their source in the glaciers in the mountains. Reservoirs are made and the water is harnessed for the use of people. Water from the mountains is also used for irrigation and generation of hydroelectricity. The river mountains and terraces are ideal for cultivation of crops. Mountains have a very rich variety of flora and fauna. The forests provide fuel, fodder, shelter and other products like gum, raisins, etc. Mountains provide an idyllic site for tourists. They visit the mountains for their scenic beauty. Several sports like paragliding, hang gliding, river rafting and skiing are popular in the mountains. Plateaus A plateau is an elevated flat land. It is a flat top tableland standing above the surrounding area. A plateau may have one or more sides with steep slopes. The height of plateaus often varies from few hundred meters to several thousand meters. Plateaus like mountains may be young or old. The Deccan Plateau in India is one of the oldest plateaus. The East African Plateau in Kenya, Tanzania and Uganda and the Western Plateau of Australia are other examples. The Tibet Plateau is the highest plateau in the world with a height of 4,000 to 6,000 meters above the mean sea level. 
Plateaus are very useful because they are rich in mineral deposits. As a result, many of the mining areas in the world are located in the plateau areas. The African plateau is famous for gold and diamond mining. In India, huge reserves of iron, coal and manganese are found in the Chota Nagpur plateau. In the plateau areas, there may be several waterfalls as the river falls from a great height. In India, the Hundru Falls in Chota Nagpur plateau on the river Subarna Rekha and the Jok Falls in Karnataka are examples of such waterfalls. The lava plateaus are rich in black soil that are fertile and good for cultivation. Many plateaus have scenic spots and are of great attraction to tourists. Plains Plains are large stretches of flat land. They are generally not more than 200 meters above the mean sea level. Some plains are extremely level, others may be slightly rolling and undulating. Most of the plains are formed by rivers and their tributaries. The river flow down the slopes of mountains and erode them. They carry forward the eroded material. Then they deposit their cloth consisting of stones, sand and silt along their courses and in their valleys. It is from these deposits that plains are formed. Generally plains are very fertile. Construction of transport network is easy. Thus these plains are very thickly populated regions of the world. Some of the largest plains made by the rivers are found in Asia and North America. For example, in Asia, these plains are formed by the Ganga and the Brahmaputra in India and the Yangtze in China. Plains are the most useful areas for human habitation. There is great concentration of people as more flat land is available for building houses as well as for cultivation. Because of fertile soils, the land is highly productive for cultivation. In India too, the Indo-Gangetic Plains are the most densely populated regions of the country. Landforms and the People Humans have been living on different kinds of landforms in different ways. Life is difficult in mountain areas. Plains provide much better conditions. It is easy to grow crops, build a house or road in a plain than a mountain. Sometimes natural calamities such as earthquakes, volcanic eruption, storms and floods cause widespread destruction. Huge loss of life and property takes place. By creative awareness about such incidences, we may lower the risks.